Well, I don't know how much fun it was to play, but Game 5 of the Western Conference Final, Sharks and Blues, was a hell of a lot of fun to watch. Ian McIntyre and Ken Weeb here. We've reunited the band to talk about this game tonight in St. Louis, and it was a lot like uh, the last game we saw the Sharks play here, except it was more fun. But they, they after a 6-3 loss in Game 4 at home, they look again like the team that's going to the Stanley Cup, but of course they need one more win to get there. But it was impressive tonight. Uh, they led early, they trailed, they came back twice, and they finally won it on a Joe Pavelski tip early in the third. Joe Thornton uh, set up a big goal. Uh, Brent Burns was noticeable. Logan Couture was noticeable. But there's still one big guy missing for the St. Louis Blues. Yeah, no question, Ian. I think Vladimir Tarasenko's struggles have been well documented, and you don't often see a coach acknowledge those uh, struggles in the playoffs. Ken Hitchcock does acknowledge that he's not getting the same offensive looks that he got during the regular season when he had 40 goals and 74 points. Uh, he has rarely been dangerous in the series, especially on the power play. You know, he had the one chance early when he still stripped the puck from Paul Martin early in the series, but outside of the six shots on goal in game two, he has really struggled. Having said that, Ken Hitchcock, uh, you know, the positive, the power of positive reinforcement gave the old, uh, he could potentially be one shift away from breaking it open. I, I right at this point, it looks like, sounds like wishful thinking, but again, goal scorers is scoring bunches. If he gets one, he uh, could get a couple big ones before this series is over, but. Well, he's running out of time, because uh, if he doesn't do it on <laughs> Wednesday in San Jose, the series will be over. Uh, who do you think is going to be in goal? It seems to me that the Blues might be out of goalies. They went from <laughs> they went from Brian Elliott uh, after uh, Game Four to Jake Allen. Sorry, after Game Three to Jake Allen in Game Four, and he was good early. Although Allen wasn't the reason that the the Blues won the other day, six three, and he let four pucks past him tonight. So who's who starts? If I'm Ken Hitchcock, I'm starting Brian Elliott. But having said that, I may not have even turned the crease over to Brian or uh, to Jake Allen in the first place, for that matter, Ian. But I, again, I'm not placing the blame at Allen by any stretch of the imagination. But seven goals in two games. Uh, when you look at a guy like Brian, it's not like Brian Elliott was struggling uh, immensely either. So to me, I, I think he's the guy that's got you nine wins so far. I think uh, you have to go with the veteran experience in this uh, elimination game, which is the third of the playoffs already. Elliott has won two game sevens already. To me, that would give him the edge uh, going into game six. Yeah. Well, Ken Hitchcock will have to find another joker up his sleeve uh, to get the series back here for uh, game seven. And whether it's in San Jose on Wednesday, whether it's here Friday, we'll be back to tell you all about it.